all right all right so good morning good evening good afternoon sa mga viewers especially for those traders from the middle east saudi qatar uae and especially no south korea taiwan and the philippines all right this is psei recap and we're now going to try to check and see kung ano yung stocks that we should be watching for this week and uh, may kita natin we'll try to generate a watch list kung saan tayo pa pwedeng uh, pumasok alright so again uh, this is PSEI recap and uh, make sure no, na when you're, when you're uh, viewing this you take your uh, responsibility no? this you double check rin sa yung system and uh, anything that I would say is uh, not guaranteed na mangyayari. And uh, if you don't uh, do your uh, no, your part, even though pare-press tayo ng stocks na tinitingnan, may pwedeng matalo ka pa rin. No? Alright, so again, before we start, let me share to you yung ating uh, quick word from our sponsor, this comes from First uh, Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Right? So, there, there are two definite uh, ideas na may kita natin dito. Number one, he cares for us. Eh, kung ano man yung problema natin, how trivial or gano'ng kaliit man yan. And number two, all of your anxiety, no? So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya mamimili. Kung madali o mahirap yung idudulog mong problema, mahalaga dito is uh, you pray, no? Because there are power really in prayers. And one of the things na mahirap sa generation natin ngayon is yung over-reliance no sa sarili and uh, I think this is one of the things na I learned no throughout reading the Bible and as living no as you go through life parang problema and money does not uh, generally guarantee you no uh, uh, anxiety free life there's so many things in life na pwedeng mangyari na money alone could not uh, solve. So with that, ang pinaka-message ko sa inyo rito is you have to, ano, you have to develop that uh, prayer life and you have to, no? So this is a reminder for, for me and for all of us na He's there, no? He cares for everything that uh, we do and yung mga problema natin, nakikita naman yan, no? So, you, you just have to ask para naman makatulong, makatulong siya and without yung prayers kasi, eh, binigyan tayo ng free will, eh, no? Kung, kung hindi ka magpipray and hindi ka mag-ask, uh, hindi makapasok, no? hindi maka-intervene si Lord para sa atin sa mga problema natin, no? Right, so again, do not be reliant, no? over-reliant sa sarili and we must develop that prayers. No? So with that, let's now move on sa ating watch list. Again, anything that I would say at this point in time, pwede or pwedeng hindi rin mangyari. No? So at least, uh, there are no absolutes in trading. Again, maraming uh, moving parts in trading na you have to take into consideration. And we're just here no? to generate watch list and to try to check and see kung ano yung mga stocks that we should be looking at. No? So again, for DMW, we didn't hit yung ating mga buying areas. No? For DMW, either we hit that support dito sa 10 area or we finally break out itong around the 
108011, yun yung mga buy point natin, no? So, as you can see, para siyang cup, no? And medyo magulo nga rito sa area na to. It's not forming a handle. But, uh, sa ating buy point, yun yung ating tinitignan, no? So, either we buy at the support or we buy at the breakout mismo, no? So, again, just keep it on your watch list, DM. W, I think uh, marami na rin yung nakakapansin dito. And we'll try to check and see kung ano yung gagawin itong DMW for next week or for the next two weeks. No? And uh, let's now move on. No? Isa pa sa ating mga watch list. We're currently seeing no? yung house where a big, big uh, selling volume. And we're currently sitting at 12.10. And you can din yan medyo maba, no? So, at least this is a warning, no? This is a big, big warning kung anong yung uh, impending na mangyayari. And, uh, tignan mo kung gano'ng kalaking volume na yan, no? So, nakikita ko dito, it might trigger sell down, no? Palala pagdating sa Tuesday and Wednesday. And, uh, We're going to check and see, no, kung ano yung magiging development. Kung malakas talaga yung buyers, magpakita, pwede manigate din to eh. Itong ganitong kalaking volume. But right now, uh, if you still have some shares, you might as well take some profit and then list to protect yung gain mo kahit pa paano. Right now, it's house has already gone up, no? Extended na extended na. And... Lalo pa't may ganito na nagpakita na yung isa sa mga signs that we should be looking at. Uh, take some profit, no? Para at least pagka bumagsak yung downside mo, uh, protected. Alright, so, itong rise naman na to, trigger din ng, ano, ng buyback, no? May buyback tong house. And uh, technically speaking, maganda pa rin naman. But for those na hindi nakasakay, I think this is, might be it, no? Papakita na ito. Pwede tayong, ano. We're seeing a, a soft support dito. Around the uh, 11.60. Uh, I think this is 11.60. And, kung masira yan, o mabasag, I think, dire-direcho siya. Pabalik dito sa area na ito, no? Above 10 level. And, uh, let's try to check and see. Baka naman magpakita yung buyers next week. Pwede niya pa rin naman mayanigay itong napakalaking-laking volume na ito, no? So, very alarming lang itong para sa house, no? And next on our watch list would be PHA. Again, there are a lot of buyers at 1.30. So, medyo zoom in ko na, no? Yung ating time frame and hindi to daily. And one thing is for sure, we're a lot of buyers sa 1.26, 1.30 to 1.31 area. And kung magbibili ka ng PHA, I think that is the, the buying point, no? Yung mga areas na pwede mo bilhin, no? So again, wala naman masyado ng panic. And we're seeing na medyo gumaganda na yung support dun. At least, at this point in time, medyo well-defined na yung uh, support, no? Dun sa area na yun. This one, two, six, two, one, thirty-one. And, uh... If you really believe dun sa mga investment uh, disclosures nito, uh, PHA, uh, yun ang magandang pwesto. No? I think wala pa masyadong development or wala pang another disclosure na might trigger another run no, para sa PHA. But right now, at least, no? at least at this point in time, well defined naman yung support na yun. Pwede pwedeng doon ka na bumili muna sa PHA. No? And uh, wag lang babagsak. Uh, kasi medyo delikado yan pag bumagsak baka isara niya itong uh, area na to no? so pangita naman you know, talagang uh, nag hold yung support na yon para sa ating uh, PHA so next on our watch list I think malapit-lapit na rin to it's, it, it is uh, nearing no? our uh, least uh, maganda-ganda yung buying point no? this is above 2 no, 2 to 205, magandang bilihan na yan. And then, yun nakikita natin na pwede natin siya ibenta sa 220, no. Currently, it close at 212, IRC. 
Again, wala pa rin tayong nakikita ng uh, any major disclosures that might uh, reverse the trend. But currently, na, na, hit, na break niya na yung support niya na 220, no? So, I think everyone's looking at 2 peso level no, at this point in time. And maganda siya, laro in for a quick, quick profit and a quick swing para sa IRC. Right? So, again, uh, medyo absorb na rin niya yung good news, no? About dun sa subway, uh, I think, factored in na yun. And uh, lalaro in na lang natin to, no? Basic support and resistance, no? Again, we ma we're seeing that we can buy it sa 2 to 2.05 and then we, can, we take a quick profit sa 2.20 to 2.25 area. No? So, 2.12 siya ngayon. we we'll just let it, let it drop a little more no? para mas maganda yung ating uh, profit uh, margin kahit pa paano. Right? So, put this on your watch list. Huwag ka munang bumili. On the sidelines muna tayo. We just want to buy at those areas na tas sa tingin na natin uh, pwedeng mag-pivot or mag-swing itong IRC. So, isa pa, no? Sa mga nakikita natin, finally, we're seeing an upside sa, uh, sa pen. And, uh, this has been on the watch list, I think, last week then. And, from what we see, no? May, may institutional na so galawan dito. Eventually went up. Uh, bumaba, no? nag-fallback, and we're seeing. No? And for this week, we're, we're going to try to check and see kung maki, may hit niya and mabibreak niya itong 136. No? Uh, what if not, eh, pwedeng mag-consolidate ulit siya pabalik sa support before finally moving again for one more try. No? And uh, either way, uh, maganda rin naman yung fan, no? At least dun sa 130 area na yun, well-defined naman yung support na yan. And if ever, mapagbigyan tayo, yun yung nga yung tinatarget natin. No? Before 150 or 150 mismo, at least makapag-partial sell tayo sa pen. So, at least maganda-ganda naman yung closing niya kumpara last week. No? So, that is our uh, take for pen. Let's now move on sa isa pa sa ating mga watch list again. Isa sa mga nangyari dito, if you see the big big red candle, etong malaking spike down na yan, uh, bad news no. May may bad news or some disclosures na ipapasa rin yung ano nila sa ko nila. And then kinabukasan na negate din naman and it's on a slide down no. I think for a week or two and finally we're seeing support no. Maganda-ganda support sa 171, 172. If you are a position trader, you might want to to position yourself dito sa Vita. And then at least we could sell dito sa 205 area. No? Maganda-ganda ang swing na yan. And again, uh, maganda, no? maganda yung activity and yung support dito sa Vita. We're seeing na nag-hold naman yung uh, support na yan no? sa 1. 72, 171, 170, no? yung area na yan. Malakas-lakas din naman. And put this on your watch list, no? I think yung Vita and medyo maganda yung price action niya, eh, no? It's hitting at the support and then yung yung candle is nagko-consolidate. We might want to or we, we must see, no? Uh, at least a bounce for next week para sa Vita. So, isa pa, last but not the least, itong BLL. BLL, zoom in ko na for a 15 minute. I think this is a 15 minute uh, time frame kasi wala tayo masyadong makita doon sa daily. And we have yung support 1 and we have yung support 2. No? So, 7.20, maganda-ganda na yung uh, bilen and napakalaking spike nito, no? So, tignan natin kung ano yung mangyayari sa VLL. I think uh, medyo may ibubuga pa rin to. And tulad nga nung sinabi ko last week, hindi niya nga na nahit yung 6.50 level. Cleared out niya na. And uh, let's try to check and see, no? Kung mag-hold itong uh, support 1 na to. 
Eh, mas maganda kung makakabili ka dito, no? Sa 7, kung mapagbibigyan ka pa ulit. Sa 7 before. Kasi medyo mahirap, mahirap i-trade itong DLL ngayon. Very volatile, malaking ranges. And if you do, don't have the, the skill, no? For a day trading opportunity, uh, iwasan nyo na muna itong VLL, no? At least, yung style natin, at least let, let it define first yung uh, support niya, no? Currently, 7.20, magandang support na yan, and support to yung 7 for the intraday play. So again, maraming salamat sa panonood. Again, this is PSEI Recap. Maraming maraming salamat.